What's up, family? Get a news report dash 20 mayor late today is January 11th, 2024. Thursday, Thursday, my city, Chicago. Mary J. Blige's birthday also. I got it at my trap building, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308. I got it here May 31st, 2017. January the 11th, 2018, I was on the 63rd Street bus coming back from someplace. And this guy was uh, at the liquor store. I stopped at the Jordan's liquor store to get some candy or something the day before. And the man shorted me and I told him, look, man, you shorted me and I want my money. And the guy followed me from the um, train to the liquor store, got in my business. Then he got on the bus with me. He had a 40 ounce in his hand and, you know, started some stuff and tried to bust my head. But. The, uh, on Mary J. Blige's birthday, July 11, 2018. I mean, not July, January. January 11, 2018. And it didn't bust the 40 ounce. So he got off the bus and I threw the, he, it was in front of the um, public aid office on 63rd Street. And I threw the 40 ounce back. And if he hadn't a duck, he would have got his head busted. You understand what I'm saying? Look, I know the Illuminati and people in the music industry be trying to sacrifice people and they try, trying to cover up their lives or whatever and stuff. Okay, Mary J. Blige, okay, we grown, we older now. When you young, dumb, full of cum, so to speak, or whatever and stuff, been through some stuff or whatever and stuff, you know, people do stupid stuff. But they have started the game over, whereas God had forgave y'all for all that. That's the truth, real talk. But y'all are killing yourselves now and killing people for no apparent reason. It's not just affecting me. You want me, you want to, you know, be the queen of hip hop and R and B. Okay, I give you that. That's you, you can have that, but you can't take my legacy. You know what I'm saying? You good at what you do and whatever your motives was or whatever and stuff, that's your thing. But let's talk about these guys. One thing about guys, when trouble hit, they come together, just like white folks. But girls tend to not come together and when they do you understand what i'm saying other girls try to you know make it seem as though it's a problem now monique been telling y'all about okra all along and i've been telling y'all about okra all along now you know taraji is telling you know about Oprah. she's the queen pin the gatekeeper you understand they've been got her to sell her soul and stuff and so she get other people to follow and stuff and y'all need to stand up for yourselves because you're older now you have responsibilities you have family and open knows better and stuff and she knows you know who really put her on the map which is me and my child abuse um rap that i gave her in 1984 at the age of 17 and my you know voice to the sound of music on three cassette tapes and a Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream speech in 1995 and my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac vs. Fat Black Oprah Winfrey, you know, that I posted 2007. Now, y'all know what time it is and stuff, and y'all still going for the, you know, acting like you don't know and stuff. Mary, it's your birthday. You're 53 years old. If you go with sums, I'm the originator, I'm the originator of rap since the age of 8, 1975. If you go to sums, chapter 57. I come from behind to get mine because that's how the, you know, I guess that's how the devil put it. They, you know, they, they, they do things backwards. You understand what I'm saying? So it's in the Bible, Psalms chapter 57. I was born May 25th, 1967. Okay. So verse six says, uh, they spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. This is verse six. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. So we on the internet, right? Now, this is verse 7. This proves that I'm the originator of rap, okay? It says, my heart is steadfast, O oh God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Now, this is verse 8. Awake my soul. Awake, harp, and lie. I will awaken the dawn. You understand what I'm saying? So that's 6, 7, and 8. I was born in 67. I became the originator of rap at the age of 8, 1975. Now, I've improved this several times. Okay? You can read it for yourself. You understand? You know what time it is. I'm not trying to take nothing that you've earned. 
but I haven't gotten a new car. I've had no more than 25000 at one time, you know, and that's just for selling music, y'all music. You understand what I'm saying? Helping you all stay on top. And I've never had a real vacation or a real day at the spa. You know, and so y'all complaining about, you know, money that I've never even seen. Y'all need to get back to the basis where y'all would have been glad to be on TV, you know, for free. Back in the day, people just wanted to get on TV. Now y'all black and bougie, and you're not standing up for the ones that helped you. You need to, though. Read Psalms chapters 52 through 57 and Second Chronicles chapter 19 through 25, you know, and then get with your people and let's, you know, we, if we got to take Oprah down, we just have to take her down. You understand what I'm saying? She's been holding the gate a little too long and stuff and it's good. It's getting to her head and y'all sugarcoating it and everybody sees it. I'm going to put a, a video this guy made about his generation Z, you know, and what they do. They just drinking and what become what is normal? You understand? Drinking, prostituting, and that's you know telling the truth ain't cool no more. You understand what I'm saying? And standing up for yourself. This, I mean, he broke it down within sixty seconds. It was, it was, it was real good. And I'm putting the description on here. Look, happy birthday, but I'm not finna die for you, okay? I'm not finna be your sacrificial lamb if that's what you know this is all about. Y'all trying to kill me to save face. Look. You can bring the pressure, I can bring the pressure too. It takes two to make a thing go right. Without me, there will be no you. There will be no Oprah Winfrey. There will be no rap. What's the chance of me getting two blues? You understand what I'm saying? See, miracles like this happen for me every day. Every day. That's why I want you to know these niggas in here that I'm around, a bunch of guys, they waiting to kill me for a drink, drug, and a smoke. This is the eight. I'm the originator of rap since the age of eight, 1975. I can't make it up, okay? Don't let the devil use you. Your, your song, Deep Inside, you know they was doing you the same way they doing me. Uh, pain share is pain lesson. We are all queens and kings, but a lot of people, whether it be dolphins, prostitutes, whoremongers, you know, murderers, things of that nature, whatever. What category do you fit in? Because they, they changed the game. It's, they started it over, okay? And I caught them, okay? Mary, use your head. Don't let P. Diddy bring you down. How many people have died so far? Maybe God is trying to tell you something. I'm going to do one more ball. This is the 14, Money, Mississippi. You owe me, and you know you do. Add it up, 24. That's 34. That's 14. 14 and 10 is 24, and 10 more is 34, all right? I got this uh, Walter Payton hat at the Goodwill store for a few dollars. That's number 34. All they want to do is cut us up like surgery and bury us in a herd with no worry. That's why they don't want to pay us what we worth because we wasn't supposed to get it from the beginning, but because of people like me standing up. For myself, for real, being a child abuse victim and people holding on and whatever the case, they weren't expecting it to blow up, rap, hip hop, and all that. We 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 superseded their their their, their expectations. Okay, now I might not be saying this the way I'm supposed to be, you know, because I'm not the best speaker or spokesperson. But you understand the words that's coming out of my mouth. You came up with gorgeous. I did the remix. I put in the description of this video. Step your game up, get show people, and save me because whatever happened to me, happened to you. Remember, guys stick together. At the end of the day, we saved them, but they threw us under the bus. Okay? And don't forget that. Don't say I didn't warn you. Peace.